Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and today we're going to talk about pretty much my final review, I'm sure there will be follow-ups, on this phone right here. This is the Axtel, Alcatel 7 by Metro PCS. Uh, if you're going to get Metro... I think they call it Metro by T-Mobile now. Um, get yourself one of these. And a freaking fantastic phone. I love it. Let's get to the intro. And then we'll talk further about the phone from there. Let's do that right now. Hi folks, we're back and uh, we're shooting video. Yay, we're looking at the Alcatel 7 from Metro. Uh, and uh, this one was sent over to us by uh, C. Butler. Can't thank him enough for letting us test this. Uh, this is a man freaking fantastic phone, folks. It's very thin, super light, uh, you can put an SD card in it, and uh, I have, I put a 32 gig in it for storage, it only comes with 32 gig of ROM, let's check out that fingerprint reader, oh yeah, and that's a beautiful display, it just is, 2160 by uh, 1080. Full HD Plus, as they call it. And, and that fingerprint reader works every time. Off, touched, on, all the time. Mm -hmm. So, that's fluid and easy to use. And it's just a really good... Uh, the light on there, folks. Uh, close out stuff we don't need. And, uh, check the settings here. So, I've had to, uh, you know, obviously, put a little storage in here. And... I got a little 32 gig card in here. If I was going to keep this permanently, I'd probably put one of those silicon power uh, 128s in it. Like 16 bucks or something. Uh, and we'd be cruising. Well, we got 25.62 free. Not bad. Um, so let's go over. The downsides, and we'll go over the upsides of this phone. Let's start with the up. No, let's start with the downsides. Only 32 gig ROM. You're going to have to stick an SD card. If you want to put some apps on it and really use it, yeah, you're going to need to do that. Bezels, fairly small. Uh, no notch, of course. Uh, and the other downside. 2 gig RAM. So when it comes to gaming, it'll play PUBG. I did a little review on that. At some point, you can go back through my videos if you go to my channel. And you will see uh, the gaming. Uh, to get into PUBG, it crashed like four times loading it. It just did. It, it happens. It's going to happen with only two gig RAM. You know, a new mobile that we're filming on, mm, the camera might be a, a tweak better, but then again, I'm hooked up with 18,000 wires and use an open camera just so I can do the video. I can shoot videos on this. 
as is. It's a really nice looking phone. Now I cleaned it up like <laughs> before I shot the video and guess what? Yeah, it's a fingerprint magnet. Well, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that whole fingerprint magnet thing. Uh, when C. Butler sent it over, he threw in a couple of cases. I've kind of settled on this one. You just slip around in there. This is a TPU case with a hard plastic shell. Whoa. And so now you got that edge. See that raised lip? It means you can do that on a flat surface and not worry about it. Also means you get this cool kickstand. Snap that out and you can sit there down there and watch videos all damn day. All day. Till tomorrow, maybe next year. The battery life is good. It's a 4,000 milliamp battery. It's very good. It does tend to gobble the battery a bit because it is a P23 Helios processor, octa core. Uh, it has a the Mali whatever it is 71 or whatever uh, GPU just not good enough because it's only 2 gig RAM that's the, that's the big downside now let's look at this case now when you look at it from the back this looks like a uh, I don't know if you folks ever watch Red Skull, he's one of the reviewers I trust. It's a rug the fun. Rugged. But you'll notice that there's a huge amount of space here. And I'm going to throw up a picture here of the only case I could find that looks just like it on Amazon. It's blue, as you can see. Uh, and therefore, they, the climate has some kind of belt holster thing. I would not hang a phone from my belt because normally you're hanging it face out. Not a good idea. I, I don't like putting screen protectors on stuff. Yeah, because the only time you got to worry is when you lay it on a desk. Or if you drop it. Now if you drop it face down, it does If there's a big rock there, it's going to crack it. Uh, as far as normal scratches go, they usually occur when they're laid on the desk. So, uh, you know. Oh, and by the way, no interference from the cover. Uh, that uh, screen protector looks super good over at the, uh, that case for $7.99. You can get you know, through Prime. They only got like five left. I'll right, be linked in the description below. Anything I mention will be linked in the description below, just like uh, I'm going to mention I'm using the Pop Voice microphone. Because I have to, due to the fact that the news microphone absolutely horribly sucks. The microphone on this, the videos are good. The EIS is me. Okay. But compared to the Axon 7, the Axon M, I'm sorry, I keep calling it the Axon. Here's the accent. Um, we shot the intro on that. It doesn't even have what's called EIS. It has digital image stabilization. It's rock solid. 20 meg camera. Only one camera on it. This has, yeah, two in the front and 
or one in front and two on the back. It does bokeh if you are willing to sit there and play with it long enough. Uh, we're not going to show you any camera samples. I did that camera comparison and that should be enough for you. Uh, oh, anything new in the news? Uh, uh, I don't know. Anyway, Cubs won. Cubs won. I'm sorry, it's good. So, I'll link the uh, case. You can find other ones that look similar. This is, uh, this is the way it go, folks. I dropped this phone the other day, right on this corner up here. Just slipped out of my pocket. My front shirt pocket. Way, it's way too tall. And so, yeah, down it went. Down goes Frazier, but it didn't even leave a, not even a scratch in the hard plastic shell on the back. So, overall, great phone. Uh, apps load quick. We'll slow it up like we'll load up Messenger real quick. And boom, there it is. And just like that. Play Store. Fine. Uh, I use this as my. Uh, mobile hotspot as a matter of fact we're using it right now as my mobile hotspot so I'm getting three bars and I'm like 30 feet below street level uh, I think it gets better reception is the Axon M hmm. but we'll get to a review on that after we put the Skinomi screen protectors on it so uh, I don't know what else to say about this phone other than it's worth, if you're going to use Metro, you can get this phone from them for zero dollars. You might be able to find one on eBay. If you do, buy it. It's an excellent phone. Plug a at and card in it. That's what I use. And you're good to go. There's even a app on in the uh, app tray where you can, uh, yeah, it says unlock my phone. I think it's been unlocked before it was sent to me because it works. I mean, it gives you a little warning when it first starts up. That's okay. Bottom line, is this a good phone? Hell yeah. Does it have some downsides? I'm your phone that doesn't. As the budget phone goes, fan freaking fantastic. And that's all I got for today. If you found this uh, helpful or informative, uh, one leave feedback in the description i'll link a few videos up here like the uh, camera comparison and probably the initial unboxing of this so you can look at those uh hmm. and that'll be it make sure you give us that thumbs up or technically it'll look this way uh, and subscribe to our channel do us a favor or send us a donation so we can buy more stuff to test you know dongles and microphones and little things like that we don't do patreon because i don't believe in uh, making people pay every month because i don't know what i'm coming out with every month you know, a one-time donation is fine. And uh, if you read the description below, you will see the names of people who have helped the channel. 
They're not allowed to donate. Don't do it. Do not do it. And uh, that's all I have for today. I'll catch you in the next one. We're going to edit this.